Students aged 3 through grade 8 participated in this year's STEAM week focused on renewable energy. Topics studied included how energy is created, renewable resources as an important part of solving the climate crisis, ways to upcycle items to reduce waste, and how to build simple machines such as windmills, solar ovens, and even solar toy cars. Kindergarten students explore different types of energy and learn the difference between renewable and non-renewable energy. Students in kindergarten also partnered with their preschool age 3 buddies to create recycled dioramas. Children develop an appreciation for the value of resources and how to get the most of something instead of throwing it away. First grade created and tested wind socks in the classroom and then went on to design, build, and test windmills in the science lab. Second grade studied wind power. Students learned about architecture in Egypt and Persia dating back to the 12th century. They studied what are called wind catchers that act like natural air conditioning. Students also compared airborne kite energy and wind turbine energy, looking for advantages and disadvantages. Third graders learned about solar energy as a renewable resource, as well as the six simple machines. Fourth and fifth grade students enjoyed a wonderful story, Arado Cooks Up a Plan. This story follows young people in Botswana who recognize how engineering helps solve problems such as the depletion of resources and harmful environmental impacts caused by the traditional cooking fire Lorado is charged with tending. This story created for the context for our design challenge to design and create a solar oven with the reusable materials that can cook with little environmental impact. Students successfully melted ingredients and enjoyed s'mores cooked entirely with solar energy. Micah Gold Marco, a solar installer and educator at Solar States, visited with middle school students to kick off Steam Week. Solar States focuses on sustainability through solar installation, education, and workforce development by employing a diverse local population in the solar industry. Micah began with the basics of how energy is created and then moved into a problem area such as fracking, greenhouse gases, and fossil fuels. Then, students helped brainstorm solutions to the problem, including kinetic energy and light energy. Finally, the group met outside to learn more about solar energy, amperage, and voltage, and what's involved in installing panels for buildings like the ones on campus. MPFS students are equipped to solve the problems of today and tomorrow. An MPFS education cultivates curious, creative, and capable lifelong learners prepared to succeed in whatever field they choose.